Do you think spanking your child is acceptable? What about using a belt, a switch, or a wooden spoon? Believe it or not, these were all considered normal ways of disciplining children by Viking fathers. In fact, there were few restrictions on physical punishment of children, and corporal punishment was seen as a necessary part of parenting. Many Viking fathers believed that physical discipline was the most effective way to teach children obedience and respect. This belief was reinforced by the warrior culture of the Vikings, where physical strength was highly valued. To them, sparing the rod meant spoiling the child. However, the line between discipline and abuse was often blurred. Some fathers went too far, inflicting serious harm on their children. And yet, this behavior was often tolerated or even encouraged by the community. Moreover, physical punishment wasn't just limited to spanking or hitting. Some fathers also forced their children to endure painful ordeals, such as running barefoot through thorny underbrush or swimming in freezing water. In the modern world, physical punishment is generally frowned upon and even illegal in many places. But for Viking fathers, it was just a part of everyday life, 